auditor vocabulary. Hey guys, as you've seen in my previous videos, I'm always looking to help the new auditor. So um, I've helped with the starter kit, what they need to take with them. I also discussed um, the auditor uniform. So now um, they know what to do with that, what to wear. And now I've got a few bits of vocabulary, which will be able to help them when they're out and about. I follow law, not policy. This is a really good um, bit of vocabulary to have. So if you are trying to film, you know, into a charity shop and they're saying, please, please don't come, please stop filming us, you're scaring us. You can say, is that law or is that policy? And when they say, no, it's policy, please can you just leave? We're just really unhappy with you videoing us. You say, I follow law, not policy. Next bit of vocab is the word tyrant. Basically, anybody won't let you film what you want to film when you're outside in a publicly accessible area, or even if you're trying to get into a building that maybe you shouldn't be into. If they try and stop you, you just look at them right dead in the eye and you say, you tyrant, and you know, and it really does get your point across. Sausage. If it's not one of those situations where you need a kind of angry tyrant, what you can do is switch it up. So what I do and Live Free and Marty do, Marty Blackborough, is um every now and again we just call the uh whether it be a police officer, you know, COVID worker, librarian um, someone even working at Sainsbury's or someone out on a break just from working in a shop, you know, basically anyone that, you know, doesn't, isn't happy with us filming, you can say sausage. And if there's more than one, you can even make up a, the song like Livery does where you go one sausage, two sausage, three sausage, more. And, you know, you can just have fun with it, you know, just freestyle. This one is probably one of the most important ones to actually get down. So if you are a new auditor um, and you are actually able to write or even a little bit, try writing this down because it's important. I always take it out of my back pocket. What it is, is this wording, this vocab. Section 32 of the Criminal Justice Act, 1973. I actually have never actually read it, but you know, and I don't think a lot of my Austin brothers and sisters have as well. But basically, whenever you want to say you can film in public, in just say um, publicly accessible land, and just say Criminal Justice Act, nineteen Section thirty two, nineteen seventy three, and if you just say it often enough, you know, it actually sounds like you know what you're talking about, um, even when maybe you don't. But just make sure you say it and say it with a real confidence, okay? And um, the tyrants will just have to listen to you. So it's got to be really real confidence, okay? Okay, guys, the next one is um, name and collar number. So um, you'll use this probably most often when a police officer, when you uh, come across one. So it's either when a police officer has approached you because you've got a camera, a camera out and, you know, and these plod pigs, they can't help but just come over and, you know, uh, basically, you know, stomp all over your rights. But sometimes it just may be a police officer who's just walking down the road, minding his own business. But be wary, he's not minding his own business. He's playing mind games with you. So what you can do is just approach him, you know, Try and you know, uh, you know, with one hand up, just so they know that you know your intent, and just go name and badge number or name and collar number. And if they refuse, it takes us on to the next uh, bit of vocab. Okay. Don't worry, the video is not too much longer. I know this has been quite a taxing lesson, especially for auditors. Um, but you know we're nearly over. But this lesson is important. Okay. Finally, the next uh, bit of vocab is professional standards. 
make sure you know this okay so when they if they say if they just point at their um their lapel like on their shoulder and they say read it my number's there what you must do first is go is that what you say to the judge then you just say here i mean that is always a zinger and it really puts the club pigs in their place okay next one um you know so if they don't give their name and number when you request it you say to them it's in your code of ethics don't worry guys you don't have to read the code of ethics none of us have okay um but if they don't um, give their name and badge number what you can say is i'm going to report you to professional standards and guys honestly when i've watched these videos when my austin brothers and sisters have done it the police on they hide it well but inside they're you know they're like oh my god oh my god i'm gonna lose my job i'm gonna lose my job you know they are really scared okay again you don't really actually need to pursue it so i've got no idea how you'd even report it to professional standards that is not the point it's just to strike a little bit of fear into them like the fear they put into us every single day of our lives okay guys um i know this has been quite a long video uh, especially for new auditors because we're and even you know auditors like myself that have been doing it a while we haven't got the best concentration spans but you know we still are very effective auditors okay so if even if you need to re-watch this video four or five times maybe get your partner to kind of maybe help write down um uh, my words if you have trouble writing i know a lot of auditors do um so you know it, it, do, it doesn't have to be fancy you can use crayons um but just write down uh what i've uh, my advice okay guys i've learned it the hard way all of these i've got all of these lessons from live free marty blah blah and against the press um uh auditing america and loads of others but i'm going to share the knowledge like they shared it with me okay Take care, guys. God bless. Speak soon.